What up, what's good, what's poppin' Spot Squad? It's your boy Edwin, I'm back with another banger. Today we got something nice for you guys. Before we get any further, I wanna give a huge shout out to today's partner, Yokan. Thank you guys for teaming up with me, but more on them later. Today, we got some cured resin by none other than the good people over at Pine Trees. Now, I am not getting paid at all to talk about the oil. I am getting paid to talk about the device. Just wanna make that very clear. So everything that I talk about, my experience with this oil is gonna be completely unfiltered. But let me tell you, from experience, pine trees will not let you down. I will say the thing I dislike the most about them is the fact that I can't open it sometimes. But that's literally just me because everybody else can get through it just fine. There it is in all its glory. One of my favorite things, probably my favorite thing about pine trees, it's that it's only two ingredients. And one of them is flour. So we got the oil out, but we don't have anything to use out of it. But that's where Yokan comes in clutch. One second. Now I have been working with Yokan for years. They're honestly one of my favorite companies to work with. Every time I get a new product, I'm genuinely excited. Today, I'm getting an upgraded version of one of their last pens. The last pen I got was the Ziva. This is the Ziva Pro. And yep, you guys can see that it has a brand new LCD screen right there. Oh wait, I was wrong. It's an OLED display. Got this little QR code if you guys wanna scan it right now. Get some more information. Touch button, viable voltage, which means it's adjustable. Oh, it has a puff counter. That's cool. This is what it looks like out the box. The screen's right there. We do got some little instructions right here. It says tap on five times to power. Lock the screen, tap four times. Adjust the settings three times and to preheat two times. All right. One, two, three. This is actually crazy because there's no button. It's all just touch. One, two, three, four, five. Yo, that is fucking crazy. So basically you're gonna go ahead and open it up and put your cartridge in there. It is a 510 thread. Gonna screw it in as such. But just imagine all the places that you're not, now I'm not saying that you should go do this, right? But what I am saying is if there's places that don't allow you to consume, uh, how would they know? There's literally no way they could tell the Nick vapes have also come with screens and they're getting advanced. It looks like a little Honda dashboard type of shit. It is crazy. So this blends in just fine. Now this is my first time trying this. I wanted to get the first experience on camera. Assuming this goes well and assuming you guys like it, I have an extra one that I get to give away. All you have to do is take a screenshot of this. <laughs> Make sure it's a good one. It's going to be hard, but follow me on my Instagram. Send me a DM. Tell me why you want to win this and I'm going to pick one lucky person. Just one. Okay, yo, the fl that was a uh, peanut butter breath, I believe. Yeah, that was definitely peanut butter breath. Ooh, I let that one out a little bit too much. Don't you just love when two of your like favorite things come together? Because in terms of technology, I hands down, Yokan is killing the game. They're dropping new products like crazy. Their technology has evolved. They've been doing this. Pine trees, on the other hand, in the oil game, they're doing their thing. And it's just so amazing when you have like my favorite oil company and I can use it with my favorite technology battery consuming devices company. And you make the experience seamless. Now let's talk about the battery. Um, you guys can't see. It does feel pretty slim, like it's not too thick. That's what she said. It feels good in the hand. You can flip it, you can drop it. Just kidding, don't drop it. Don't, don't drop it, nope. Something I just noticed is you can lock the screen so right here when you touch it, nothing happens. But you can also control it by inhaling. Ooh, we just changed the mode. In terms of adjustable, I actually had no idea you can adjust it individually by voltage. I thought it only had three settings, but you can go from 1.8 all the way up to 4.2. Damn, there's no reason you need to go that high. But in case you wanted to, you can. I'm gonna go ahead and put it at 2.5 because I think that's probably the best. It is cured resin, so I do like to burn it at lower temperatures so you get that flavor. It tastes so much like the plant. Yo, I'm loving this pen, man. Now with the lower voltage, you will get less cloud, but you get more flavor. It depends on you. Do you want to 
get the best flavor out of your oil? Do you want to get the biggest cloud? Um, with some pine trees, I definitely have to use it at a lower setting, which means unfortunately the clouds aren't going to be as big. But for the sake of this video, we're going to try it. Let's fucking try it. We're going to put it at 3.6 uh, because 4.2 Honestly, sounds a little crazy, uh, but we're gonna try 3.6. Let's get it. It has a little lock, woo, which shows you. <coughs> and of course, it does come with the preheating mode. You have to press it twice in case your oil is cold. Probably the best method. I remember I used to use a lighter. 4.2 seconds. Look how much cloud that, and I inhaled most of it on top of everything in 4.2 seconds. 4.2. The only thing I would say would be better is if it had like my logo right there. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we could get a collab going. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Drop a comment down below. But until next time, stay lit. Stay positive. Have a great motherfucking day.